Today we're coming from Dave Humphrey's place at, at Harlan. Dave's just bought the Monosom NG twin row with sink and it's looking pretty good in this patch of peanuts. I've been growing peanuts for almost 25 years. I've got a, a janky plate planter that I've used for years, tine plate planter. The accuracy wasn't spot on and I was having a few emergence problems. I felt the dip was probably causing that to some degree, so I started looking at new planters. Contacted Vanderfield and um, arrived at the Monison planter. There you go. Pat Harden was extremely helpful. I've known Pat for a long time, back in the peanut days. He was one of the ones that showed me around different planters up there in Bundaberg, and um, he helped me through every stage. Steve Fram was very helpful in taking me to other farms and demonstrating planters and showing me what we could buy. Um, what options we could include on the planter. He built it to exactly what I wanted for this farm. And that was the unique thing about Monosom. Um, I can have that planter built for me in America and land it here on this farm to do this job. And that's unique. Well, it's a four row, twin row, Monosom NG sink row with fertiliser as well, dry fertiliser. This is the first patch I've ever planted with it. Um, it was extremely dry at planting and following planting, and we retained the moisture far better than the old planter ever would have. And I feel that was because the, with the double disc, they just opened the ground, dropped the seed, and sealed it off with minimal disturbance, whereas the old planter had the tines and it used to loosen the soil and lose moisture. With the new planter that's why we've got this very even emergence because every seed's been in the moisture and come up at the same time. It's designed to plant each seed exactly half the spacing of the opposite row so that every plant ends up in a diamond pattern and that it will conserve or use its own moisture without robbing moisture or nutrients from the other plant. Because they've all come up virtually on the same day, they're all up in their twin rows and, and just looking across the patch I've, I've never seen that, that uniform or green at this stage and I think that's to do with the crop emergence and maybe the twin rows because there's more the ground covered in already. That's really just blowing my mind that because they've never looked like that. With all this precision planting I can plant me wheat beside that peanut row so that I can use the nutrients from whatever I put on the peanuts to grow the wheat. And then I can plant the corn beside the wheat or back where the peanuts were in that exact spot to do the same thing. Use the nutrients or even eat a row and put nutrients on. And I just feel that it'll work. I just I can't see how that twin row concept can't work. So I'd say anybody that was interested is more than welcome to come and have a look.